So now we'll show how to dockerize the microservice in detail. To do that, we need to add two additional files, docker file and docker ignore. Add dependencies in package.json, build the image, and run the image. So we need to create the docker file and the docker ignore. So now, see we have three files, four files, because the ignore is it's just not showing. I'm going to go ahead now and launch the editor. In this case, I'll be using Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. Now, for the package.json, we need, as we said, we need to add the line for start and micro. Also, we need to add the dependencies. Let me just I have it here. So now we have dependencies. So I'm using micro.7.33 and uh, the scripts now it's start micro. Then the docker file. First we need to identify the base image that we'll be using. So the base image we'll be using is the one from or node.js. And then we need to create the app directory. So again, this is we are doing this inside the image. Right? These are the instructions that will be executed inside the image. So the way you do that is you can run and then you give it the command that it needs to run. So make a directory. And so we put that in the USR, then source, and then app, right? and then we we'll change into that directory, and we put in the path as the same. The next step is to install the dependencies. So we copy the package that JSON into the same directory. And then we run npm install and it will run the installation of the dependencies based on what we identified earlier as the dependencies. And then we'll bundle the app source. And then we execute the command for starting. Then we save it, and then the last file we need to, to add is the docker ignore, and with that we do the node modules, we ignore them, and the debug log. Okay, and then we save that. So now we have all four files that are required for this uh, microservice and the container. So we would go ahead and now and build the image. Okay, build T. And then we would like to name it Hello World NJS Pay attention to this dot. So what you see here is going in and downloading the image, you know, the Node.js image.
now installing the dependencies. So now an interesting thing to look at is if we start kinematic, we start the DNC energy, right? So let's go ahead and now run the Docker image. If we look at the images at this point, you will see that the image now is available. This one. And now we can go ahead and run it. And it also downloaded the base image. Now we will go in and create a, run, create the container in a second. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now an important point here is the mapping of the ports. So you know when the service runs inside the image, it runs the default it's running against port 3000. So here let's say I'd like to use port 8080 and I will ma map it to port 3000. And then there's the D flag which means that it's detached versus you know, me going in directly into the prompt inside the image. So it will be, it's be running basically in the background. So and then the name of the image. Okay, so we are ready. Okay, one, two. So now pay attention to what's going to happen also in kinematic in the background as we do that. So you see here, it assigned it a name and it started actually. So you see here it's telling us the same thing. That So internally it's running against port 3000. Okay, now if we want to test it, we just need to go with the expectations that will go against localhost 8080, which will map to 3000. Localhost 8080. And you see here that you see it, hello world. Now we'll demonstrate containers isolation and portability. So, so far we have created a microservice, put it into a container, and we run it as you saw on the Mac OS. Next, we will save that microservice locally and then copy it and deploy it on a Linux virtual machine. And then we'll do the same and run it also on a Windows virtual machine. So let's have a look again at the images that we have. It is this image that we would like to save and copy from the Mac into the Ubuntu. We'll do that now. And we give it the image name as well. Now we should see it appearing here. And then if we refresh, it appears here again. Okay, the next step is to copy it into a local directory on the Ubuntu. Now it's copying. Then next we will load the image locally. Let's have a look at the images that we have now loaded. So we see here this image. This is the one we just loaded. See, no containers are running. Check. Okay, so now let's instantiate that container and run it. One of the first things we'll do is create the mapping for the port. We run detached as we did on the Mac and we give it the image name. Okay, now we have it. Let's check out the containers. 
see now we have this container. Okay, then now let's check out if we, we can access the web server, the microservice. And here you have it. Okay, let's try it now in Windows Virtual Machine. Do the same now in Windows. So I already have the image here saved, and I will, that's the same directory being mapped, so I'll just copy it. Okay. Now, let's check out the images that we have. So only we have the hello world. So now we need to load the latest image. I will go into that directory. And so we have it. So now it should start downloading as you can see. Now let's run Docker. We'll do the port mapping and run it detached. Okay, so now we can see the container running and it's called Awesome Shockley. Let's check it out now in the browser. And here it is. Okay, so with this, we conclude this series. We have demoed creating microservices, creating containers, putting the microservice in a container, and deploying the container into Mac OS, Ubuntu, and Windows. Now, please note that all of these are x86 architecture. Thank you, and see you in the next series.